What's going on, Clits? What? What up, what up, what up? What up? It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the Clits. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another bitch today. You feel me? We are finally doing a movie review. It Ooh. has been a very long time since we've actually done a movie review on the channel. Yep. I want to say the last movie review we did was like early in the channel's like life's like i want to say maybe 2017 2018 yeah 2017 it was a long was... time ago but uh we uh decided to go check out godzilla minus one mm -hmm. tonight and uh minus yeah one, man bro. we wanted to do a uh a movie review for you guys we'll start off at the beginning of this uh review just you know no spoilers just general consensus <clears throat> we'll give our ratings and what mm -hmm. we like what we dislike and then towards the end we will um, dive in. To get into the spoiler talk. Shout out to everyone that is uh, watching us on Twitch. We're doing this live on Twitch right now. So make sure you subscribe to our Twitch. The link will be down below. Hi guys. So that way you can join in live when we're doing these type of videos. And if mm -hmm. you guys want us to do more movie reviews, <clears throat> y'all let us know as well. So. No, big facts. So Godzilla Midas win. Um, so. <laughs> you want to uh excuse me you want to start off with a rating or you want to go into like um... i want to go into it first and then we'll we'll give our rating afterwards like on the spoiler free part um i must say this so likes um, likes and dislikes then like in a in a i will say it's one of the in my opinion one of the few i don't even think really out of all the godzilla movies i've seen and most of them i've seen were just american made this was the first time i can think of where I actually cared about the human characters. Exactly. My same that's, sentiments. That's the biggest thing I noticed about this movie. Is usually, especially with the American style movies, they they center too much on the the, the human characters that you don't even really care about. And it's, yeah. it's, it's how they write them, how they set them up. You don't care about them. You really only care about seeing Godzilla and him fighting all these other monsters, other kaiju, however you want to call it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But in this particular movie, I will say this, even though <clears throat> it was... Um, it was it was dubbed so we had to pretty much they had uh english subtitles at the bottom so we were pretty much reading what the the characters are saying but at the same time yeah. the acting so good that you find yourself invested in characters even though you're just reading the dialogue you can feel what these characters are feeling mm -hmm. and that to me was a shock because I was not expecting that at all, bro. Nah, facts. I, I I totally agree. I mean, um, it was one of them. I didn't really think I was gonna like it, you know. To be mm -hmm. honest with you, um, I I didn't. I didn't. I, I came in with the, <laughs> the hopes. You know, we had heard people saying, "Oh man, this is gonna be dope. This is gonna be dope." <clears throat> and um, I think I, it was just one of them things. You know, it starts off with the humans, mm -hmm. of course. You know, you got to slow roll the bad boy. Yeah. But, um, I'm currently watching uh Legacy of Monarch right now, so okay. it's sometimes you feel like. Like Ross was saying, with the human stories, it kind of takes too long. And sometimes it kind of gets overkill, redundant, and then it mm -hmm. starts getting plain stupid. Um, mm -hmm. But I will say, chef kiss to the, <laughs> the story. Um, oh, I agree. Yeah. I haven't seen a movie, a uh, Godzilla movie, where it really made me care about mm -hmm. what's going to happen. And I, and I like how they kind of brought you in early. In, yeah. in in the acting and the fear yeah. early kind of enticed your mind and intrigued you like damn it's crazy what's wrong with him what's going on and then as yeah. things kind of start to progress and you kind of understand that makes you want to follow the character and see what happens from there and then it just yeah and then it's, it's kind of like how they set up godzilla they set him up in a mm -hmm. way where it's just like hey an ass oh <laughs> you know what i'm saying and so godzilla is the antagonist of this film. Yeah, he's he, definitely the antagonist. He's not he he's not fighting Mecha Godzilla. He ain't trying no. to he ain't trying to help the people or he ain't looking out no. because no. it's a little girl standing up. He don't give a damn. No. no. This is the <laughs> this is the Godzilla uh we hadn't really seen in quite some time on the big screen mm -hmm. where he he's truly like it don't even take long for us to even see him and I appreciate that. They within like maybe the first five to ten minutes oh he's there he's surprised niggas what's up i'm yeah. here to let you niggas know i ain't no bitch and he, mm -hmm. he he is he's on site it's not even like and it's crazy how they set it up because <clears> the humans and we're not gonna get too into it right now yeah. 
the human's not really doing anything to harm Godzilla. This is, yeah, this no, is not a sure. situation of, oh, they're doing something to his habitat. No, this nigga just arrive and say, hey, I really don't fuck with y'all. Yeah. I'm going to show you I don't fuck with y'all. Yeah, and, no, for sure. And, and I like how the time, I think the, the setting of the story takes place after World War II. Yeah, so I want to say they're in like in 1946. And I mean, uh, to not to mm -hmm. cut you off, but that's where I thought I wasn't going to like it because it did try to set the plot of back in the day. So mm -hmm. it was in the, the, the 40s or whatever. And mm -hmm. um, of course, um, he, the way they wrote the script, I just didn't want it to remembering Godzilla and how the old yeah the old films school. used to look old films yeah I yeah, was yeah. just like oh my god once I seen the date I was like please do a present day but mm -hmm. in a way I'm kind of glad they didn't do a present day because it pretty much worked out uh, in the end they are in Tokyo um and you know they they set it up where uh, again like after World War II Homie was definitely I ain't going to get into it on this this part, but after the spoiler part, I can mm -hmm. say more about, uh, what was his name? Uh, Sh uh, Shikishima. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His, yeah. his first name is Koichi. Koichi. Who? Koichi. 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 I Squishy. had to look it up. Koichi. 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 I know Shikishima. Yeah, you can say Shikishima. <laughs> Shikishima. Yeah. Shikishima. Shikishima. <laughs> Shikishima. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, nah, Shikishima uh, pretty stole... <laughs> stole the uh the spotlight in this yeah. one his, his acting was pretty incredible um at points i thought it was going to be like a little od because sometimes mm -hmm. a lot of like um foreign movies like when it comes to japan and china and all that stuff uh the characters to me they always give like that extra <laughs> that emphasis mm -hmm. thing that i don't mm -hmm. normally like but um i kind of worked through that but it, it was a, a very good story uh like i was saying before godzilla is an ass so you don't really feel <laughs> You don't really feel no. I'm sorry for him. No. It, it ain't like they was doing something and then they went and messed with him no, and, no. and woke him up out of his sleep. In the beginning, <laughs> you just see Godzilla just on site. And it yeah. was like... What do I do? Ain't nobody... Wait, Wait what did I do? Like, what? what? <laughs> and the crazy thing, he was smaller and more agile. So he was mm -hmm. quick and shit. And I was just like, and I'm like, wait, what kind of this nigga like a yeah, damn yeah. velociraptor right now? He, yeah. He, he, uh, <laughs> he kind of quick on his toes. And then um, mm -hmm. from there, you know, the story developed. But it wasn't to a point where it was like they, the humans, to me, from what I've seen, didn't do anything yeah. to wake up a, a, a crazy monster in the ocean. Yeah. And nobody was trying to go fuck around and find some shit. You know, yeah, they, yeah, was, yeah, they yeah. was having a war. And then next thing you know, they're starting to see marks and stuff on machines and and ships that not that wasn't humanly possible, mm -hmm. and it kind of just rolled from there. Yeah, nah, this was uh, the the once again, like I said, the the human actors were uh, fantastic. Uh, the female lead, I want to say, is uh, Noriko. 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 Yeah, Noriko. Yeah, the female lead. I, I like how Noriko. they set, they set that up in uh, uh, her interaction with the uh, 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 how you pronounce his name again. Shikishima? Shikishima. <laughs> Shikishima. I don't know if make me want to do this, but their interaction, I, I like how it happened. It, it wasn't, you know, you can get the, the typical male, female, will they, won't they trope. They don't sure. even go that route, mm -hmm. not immediately. It's it's one of those things where it it his his trauma and what he's dealt with and why the way he is, mm -hmm. you, you start to see why he's not trying to fall in love and and have that you know that typical love story trope is more so him dealing with a lot of trauma and just trauma and war itself you know and what he was i, I think i can say this part because it's, it's kind of known he was a uh a kamikaze pilot yeah you know? he was. and the thing about kamikaze pilots back then it was such an honor to literally go out there and die for your country so if you came back, they they looked at that as dishonorable. Like, oh man, what you want, man? Yeah, why just, yeah. Why yeah, are like, you why here? Are you back? Like, why are you back? And then they and and it was one of those things for him. You know, he gives a reason why, but we find out later out later on what's going on. But he has to deal with that coming back home, and you know, people looking at him strange, and it's it's crazy because there were individuals like that that honestly you. I mean, let's be honest here. Your country is asking you to go out there and die for us. Like, don't come back. It's better for you to die 
and serve out your mission then to come back and then you come back and now you in a whole nother war but now you in a war with godzilla and you don't even know how to even process that mentally like what the hell i just got out of a situation death like you thought you was finna escape boy to get into a situation um with godzilla so yeah and uh i will say this out of all the godzillas we had um I, I I do think obviously the American movies they have a much bigger bigger budget. Yeah. But this Godzilla he does look more like the old school ones. Like yeah, and that was and that was what that somebody did. To, uh, what's his name? Directed and written by Takashi or Takashi. Mm-hmm. Um, Takashi should be. But um, he did kind of pull a lot from the 1954 original film. So you yeah. could tell he kind of went a lot with the the mannerisms of Godzilla and yeah, his, his yeah. movement. Kind of reminded yeah. me of the old school. Because the, Godzilla, the, the ones we have now, he more looks like a lizard, a big ass like lizard. Yeah. Um, the, like the American ones. Not to say his design doesn't look cool. It's just it doesn't resemble the old school Godzilla. But with this one, they they do that. They kind of modernize it. And his atomic breath, the way it charges up. Oh yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. It's kind of loud. That American Godzilla, he cool, but he ain't. He ain't fucking with this one. It's I, like I'm, the the scales oh. the scales get to popping up and yeah you know. they pop out of his spine as the atomic breath is charging and bro when he lets it go it's like a nuclear bomb bro it's ridiculous it's like a it's it's definitely more realistic yeah it's more for... realistic bro <laughs> and it's not even just the 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 blast it's the the aftermath yeah bro I'm like. <laughs> Like when this nigga charge it up, it hurts him. Every time he charges it up, it actually hurts him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's when he becomes more vulnerable. He's not at full strength. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we're gonna talk about more of that in the spoiler section. But bruh, anytime he, I got scared because I'm like, oh, niggas is dead. Yeah. Like once you, I'm like, oh, bro. There was G-G's. one scene in the movie. I'm, we was <laughs> niggas. You know, you know, niggas about to get packed up when everything go into slow mo. Niggas start taking, taking off their hat. Yeah. Niggas start hitting the the cry. Niggas, the, you know what I'm saying? Everything is in slow mo. You know, you know, everyone's packed up. Yeah. That was one of those moments. Every time it charged up, you knew somebody was about to die. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was going to be mass destruction, and that was a good thing to feel like that. In a Godzilla movie, like damn, bro, this nigga is unfucking stoppable. They don't even have the technology mm-hmm. to really stop this nigga. Like, bro, they done. Like, my man just, my man can't catch a break. <laughs> I just wanted him to catch a break. I wanted him to finally realize he got a real one by his side mm-hmm. or whatnot. I wanted him to catch a break, and he couldn't catch a break because yeah. this nigga Godzilla. Oh, you remember me, nigga? I'm. I'm bigger. I'm stronger now, and I got an I'm, atomic breath. I'm nigga. wiser. <laughs> I'm better. Yeah. Guys, it was playing Marvin Sapp. I'm facts. But now, um, <laughs> but but to to get back into the the um, I love the story, and here's where we have to get it credit because I I was scared because of the plot, the time period, and all that. Said that already. But the fact that the story, in he embodied um, Shikishima embodied the fear thing mm-hmm. so like the fear piece so much that it made you like well damn this nigga tripping so he even had a a point where he was able to execute at a time and his fingers was just freezing and shaking it's like it was just like damn this nigga really scared and so to see him kind of go through the movie and um mm-hmm. how he it progressed into yeah. the confidence that he gained and he was able yeah. to kind of you know he was willing to do whatever it took to mm-hmm. re, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, I'm trying not to, to spoil it, but he was, he was able to get through to the end. So that way he could kind of make up for what happened in the very beginning of the movie. But yeah. I'm sorry. I don't want to keep talking like this. So we finna go straight into the spoiler point. Uh, this was um, a good little bit of the non-spoiler for the Godzilla. Uh, do you want to get over, give the rating first? Oh yeah. Um, I rated it. I started off with a, what you rating on a scale of one to ten? I started. No, oh, I, I did it out of five. Like five. Oh, sorry. out of five. Okay. Uh, I started off with a three, three and a half, and then I ended up with a four. Okay. That's so I gave bad. it. A, I gave it a four out of five. Um, three and a half mm-hmm. just for, 
Uh, visuals and everything like that, of course, because I'm just one of yeah. the guys. But I, I the in four. Oh, okay, okay. How it ended? How okay? Um, visually, you know, it, it, it obviously this it's not as big as the the other movies. They have hundreds of millions of dollars <clears> behind <throat> it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of the visual effects weren't all you know together, but it still looked good. It was still something worth watching, and it it still did the job on making Godzilla feel like this unstoppable monster, which he really was majority of the film. Mm -hmm. The acting was really good. And once again, we're reading the entire movie Whoa. and the characters are still entertaining. And that's that's a plus in my book. You actually give a damn. Hell, there was a person next to us. That damn, It was a guy next to us. Started fucking crying, bro. He did, bro. He did. <laughs> he started crying, bro. and all his homies started laughing. Laughing at him. him, bro. Because I mean, he was like, "Are you good... crying?" He he, he the... just ah, oh. because oh. there was some good good character development. I've never seen that in a Godzilla movie where people crying for the human beings. We only usually care about the monsters. So on that alone, me enjoying it. Um, outside of the minor, you know, visual hiccups in there. I'll probably give this a four and a half out of five. I enjoyed this. Well, was this is this was really, really good. It's definitely oh, worth your time uh, to go check it out. If you haven't already, um, definitely go check it out. This is one of those movies where it's like, yeah, bro. They they, they captured the essence of Godzilla, I, I feel like. And I enjoyed it. So. And, it. And to say this before we get to the spoiler part, the humans did make you care. Yes, the humans that they thing, and I think because it was such a tragic situation to mm -hmm. uh, Shikishima, mm -hmm. where you was just like, ah, damn, bro, this, ah, yeah, he, you, like you were saying, you can't catch a break, and yeah. it kind of made you feel like ah, so they made you feel for him early on, and they was very yeah. smart with that because they made you feel with him early on. You developed this relationship with him in the very beginning, and as it progressed, and then you kind of seen what happened with the aftermath of the war because you, as yeah. you know, with war there's bombings, there's you know things that happen to your hometown, and so yeah. he has to go back home to this situation, and then next thing you know, Godzilla just, you know, what I'm saying. So they, I like how they set it up, and it's very important setting up the plot in ways like that because it helps tell the story. It helps you give off what you want the, the viewer to take from what you're writing and how you want them to perceive the protagonist and the antagonist. And, you know, because a lot of times, Godzilla be chilling. Humans go and do some dumb shit. He wake yeah. up, start obliterating shit. Then they get in trouble by some other angrier monster and then he got to come in and save the day. He look yeah. at y'all. He could blow y'all to smithereens, but y'all, I'm going to just go back to my cave. Leave me the fuck yeah. alone. But... In this one, he was just on on some demon timing. I don't know what the <laughs> hell happened, what it was, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed their review. I know this is our first one of many, so we'll get more into you know in depth with certain uh things like that uh in the future. And kind of, I had a little uh movie review list here, so I know in the future I definitely want to go through and uh not mm -hmm. only watch movies but try to take notes and also be able to kind of give a little bit of information not too much but enough to see if you guys you know enough to give off to you guys for you to go and uh catch it for yourselves but hopefully you enjoyed the um non-spoiler portion yeah. of the video and for those that are on twitch that have not seen it um want you guys to you know be advised and to you know we normally don't tell people to leave the stream <laughs> but uh yeah. if you don't want to get spoiled for the movie now's your time to go ahead and get out Yep. Um, we can probably read a couple of chats and give y'all a minute, and then yep, um, yep, yep. we'll start back up. <laughs> what is that, bro? What are you doing, bro? Spoiling around the mic. Spoiling around the mic. All right, but nah. So, all right, man, this is what we can kick it for real, for real. All right, Ross, what, yeah. you, what you really thought, man? You know what I'm saying? Shikishima. Hey, man, I just Zim Zima. I understand why at the beginning of the movie, he didn't want to shoot him. And yeah. Because they were on the island, and it's only really just mechanics. He came back because he said there was something wrong with my plane. Yep. When, and the mechanics, <laughs> Boy, they checked get the killed. plane, and he was like, well, it don't seem like there's nothing wrong with your plane. He's like, how you going to tell me ain't nothing wrong with my plane? Well, really, Nigga ain't was, a scratch, scratch on it. <laughs> really what it was, he he, he couldn't do it. You yeah, no, nah, he couldn't. He was sent on a mission as a kamikaze pilot to not return. And he couldn't do it, which is, you know, once again, I can't even fathom being him. asked to, you know, kill myself for the greater good nope. or whatever you want to say. So it starts off with that. 
they're not really like trained soldiers. They're just mechanics on this island. And then Godzilla just appears out of nowhere. Just like, yo, what's good, bro? And nobody wants to do anything. And one of the uh, lead mechanics like, hey, man, go to the, if you go to that plane and use the turret or whatnot, it should kill anything. And so this is the very beginning. So very beginning. Homie, of homie landing, you, you seeing the uh, the landing gear and the plane landing and all that and the mechanics uh, that, that work on the planes, um, you know, out there. In the, on the little island, I think it's what Odo Island or something like that, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. so you know, and they they just doing their part. I don't know, and it doesn't really tell us where Godzilla came from. No. Um, you know, he just kind of pretty much appears. Yeah, you, you kind of see uh, Shikishima look into the water as they're fixing on a plane, and he yeah. see like the little fishes uh floating up to the top of the uh mm-hmm. the water, which was mm-hmm. one of the uh symbols that says that Godzilla is in the area or whatever. So yeah, yeah, he up there doing this thing and you know, the part where Ross happened, uh where Ross said happens where they like, hey homie, ain't nothing wrong with your plane. You something was wrong with the plane, fix the <laughs> shit. Cause I'm finna circle this bad boy and go home. Uh so they doing all that and then next thing you know, pop up by Godzilla and he's smaller. And to me, I thought he was gonna be that's why it surprised me with the visual effects when he got mm-hmm. bigger, because when yeah. he was smaller, it looked a little different. Like he looked like he was faster, more yeah. agile, and he he you know like he was like running with his arms and shit. I'm like, wait, this mm-hmm. nigga kind of got more, more you know, more mobility, mobility yeah. with his arms and stuff than he normally do. But that was because he was smaller. And um, yeah. nah, he came in uh, biting boys in half, throwing them <laughs> away. He wasn't even eating them. He was just yeah, he was just killing them, chewing them in cool. half and th- throwing them like toothpicks. Bro. And so, um, old boy yeah. did tell Shikishima to go. They all in the little, the little, the little dugout. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying with their guns, but they nobody's shooting because you like, bro, we ain't finna cause no, we ain't finna let them know where our point is, where we at. I'm finna mm-hmm. give our position away. So homie gonna tell Shikishima to run to the plane and go ahead and use that 30 mil- <laughs> 30 cal to go ahead and shoot Godzilla because anything is gonna be taken down by that 30. And homie was just like, and I'm looking at Ross like, bro, you got me messed up trying to mm-hmm. send me out there to go get <laughs> GG and y'all sitting here in the dugout yeah. watching and me. I don't, I don't even think that gun would have worked, bro. Not I, at I all. And we, we kind of find out that it wouldn't gonna work because after that happened and then he just kills pretty much everybody except the the lead uh mechanic obviously you know it it, it fucked with him that's what caused his initial trauma because at that point he felt like it was his fault he it was his fault he should have died you know what i'm saying a kamikaze pilot coming back and then have a situation where maybe he could have stopped the, or prevented the death of everybody else that was on that island that had families and loved ones they wanted to get back to. He had that guilt, and plus, obviously, the uh, the lead mechanic. He obviously he had some. He he, he felt some type of way. He, you know, he definitely was like, "Yo, bro, if you would have did that, they would have been alive." Even though he we don't better. know if that was the case, but you know, obviously, he's grieving people he cared about. So and then at felt, the same time, no, not to cut you off, but he's also dealing with the fact that. He feels like he didn't die for the country, so yeah, he yeah. already is holding on to that. Because when he came back, uh, I think this takes place right after they had sent uh, the. I don't know. I think the U.S. had sent bombs. They yeah, were going they did. From that, from that time period, yeah, they, they had did. sent bombs over there, and pretty much wiped out a lot of people or whatnot. And when he came back home, his his mom and dad was gone. He recognize somebody that was there because it's just laid out it's just rubble Mm -hmm. just destruction so when he gets back um somebody he knows was like you here like what are you what are you doing here and he's like well then they she ends up blaming him like you the reason why this happened if you would have sacrificed yourself for the country like you you the reason why this happened so he got all that extra guilt on top of him with that situation and then trying to build his life back up dealing with the guilt of the mechanics that he felt like he let down dealing with the guilt of being one of the kamikaze pilots to return back Everybody his family's you. not there and then that's when he enter he ends up meeting randomly uh the female lead uh, uh no Noriko. Noriko. He ends Noriko. Up meeting her. She, i think she's running from somebody like yeah. a group of group of individuals and she passes off a baby to him and he like yo what the hell so he just sits there. He's waiting for her to come back. And uh, when she doesn't come back, he 
he's about to leave the baby, but he's like, I ain't that much of an asshole. Right. I got a heart. I can't. I got a heart. So he picks up the baby. He walks away, and then he ends up finding her, and then she pretty much ends up following him to whatever remaining hut he has of his <laughs> of his house. Because, like I said, everything's damn near destroyed. Yeah. And she ends up staying the night, and then from there, it goes on. She ends up actually staying longer or whatnot. And when I believe the the person that he knew. Uh, he saw what she saw what was going on like you brought in someone with a child and you know uh, another lady what you you trying to pretend like you're a hero he's mm -hmm. like that's not even the case and then she went in and realized they have a newborn baby and you know they trying to you know she gave them some stuff to help the baby uh, be healthy and, and grow potentially even though she was like being that. a hard ass yeah, she, she still she, decided to help them and he didn't he didn't <laughs> want them to stay with him either like he was like hey y'all yeah. crazy like don't get comfortable in here you and that baby got to get up out of here you know like, yeah, i got a yeah, lot yeah. on my mind i'm lost yeah. a lot of people i feel like i cheated mm -hmm. death a couple of times like y'all gotta go i got enough going on and so and the, the baby wasn't even uh nori yeah he, he finds out it wasn't even her baby he's like man so you took in a baby because somebody asked you to promise to protect the baby mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. you know she was just doing her part too so um it was that's what i'm saying like that that kind of makes you get invested early with the character yeah you, you feel like damn this thing got it tough and then as time goes by they just he's like you know what they're here now he doesn't like even like push push the issue they're here now they just so, living together at this point yeah they're just living together at this point he's trying to find him some work and he ends up finding him some work and be, pretty much being one of those individuals that go try to retrieve the mines that are in the ocean. Yeah. Obviously, it's a good paying <laughs> job, but with, with that, it's a dangerous job. Yeah. And so he ends up doing that job and he ends up meeting some other individuals on this boat. And they, you know, they go around pretty much retrieving the mines from the ocean mm -hmm. and they end up, you know, shooting them and pretty much destroying them. I believe there was one scene of like some nuke going off. And I think Godzilla got hit with it. Yeah, that's the nuke. I, that's apparently the nuke that uh, pretty much gave Godzilla the radiation. Radiation, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I kind of figured that. I was like, oh, so the nuke that the I believe the U.S. dropped, mm -hmm. that's the one that ended up giving him the radiation. And we find out that with that radiation, it gives him extra abilities <laughs> that I was not expecting. So they end up going out um just you know retreat they I, I believe they had some mines on on the boat with them yeah and godzilla makes his presence very known like he dub was saying in the spoiler part a spoiler pre part like it's it's just been pictures and photos and images <laughs> of boats just being ripped apart did you know that obviously this wasn't a man made situation this this has to be some type of creature and the us can't get involved because of certain situations with the, the Soviet. So they can't even get involved on a situation that far out. Yeah. So And they wasn't. And, and def they definitely wasn't. So <laughs> we'll cause the problem. We ain't going to fix it. <laughs> exactly. So, like, bro. Hell no. So when they actually encounter Godzilla, and, it, and it's crazy because uh, Shikishima, he's he's starting to relive those those that 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 fateful night when he saw him when he was much smaller mm -hmm. now he's much bigger he's destroying ships and he's after them he's not it's not even on no i'm gonna let you niggas make it these niggas in a small ass boat yeah and this nigga's like you know what i'm here for it today yeah. i'm here to cause chaos so they have like two minds on them or whatever and they drop one and it detonates does you know, nothing oh, no, and that nigga's like so they 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 going full speed on that damn boat and Godzilla just rinky dink ass wooden boat is yeah. flying its life to get away. They drop another one and he ends up shooting it like he ends up shooting because it lands uh, in his mouth. mouth and he ends up shooting it and it looked like a fatal hit because it blows up blows up a Godzilla mouth. And motherfuckers just floating dead, mouth all messed up. I was like, oh shit. Okay. They took care of him early, man. That must have and been his brother. All of a sudden, this nigga starts healing. Yeah. And it, bro, his eye come back to normal, face comes back to normal, and he wakes right back at I'm like, oh, it's GG. Yeah, no. Oh, we fucked. Yeah. When did a, when did he get 
fucking your generation powers, bro. With generation power. I'm like, oh no. I thought they so was dead I, at that moment. I was like, I was like oh well, it's, it was it was nice knowing you, Shikishima man. Bro. I appreciate you yeah. for this this brief journey. Yeah. You ain't cheating <laughs> death this time, bro. You finna you get cheating. exactly what you what you finna get, old you know, girl. At the the anime power up. He, he definitely got a power nah, up. No, for sure. I think I boost. Hey, old girl at the crib told you not to take this job because it was dangerous. Yes, it was good money, but it was good money because of this. You out of here. And then, uh, but right before Godzilla could put the the uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 halos around their head, yeah. the, one of the ships ended up coming yeah. in and uh, shooting them at Godzilla because they was pretty much a placeholder for that ship anyway that was supposed yeah. to be dropping the, mm -hmm. the bombs on Godzilla. You know, they was coming with that really, really heavy manpower. It was one of their right. biggest ships. But, but Godzilla packed them niggas up like it was nothing. He got hit with all of them and said, oh, okay. This is before we even seen the atomic breath. He goes in there. But he did started. it on them. Did he? Yeah, because he, remember he, um, he was shooting, he was like got on top of the boat and then remember they uh he got on the top of the boat he was destroying it and then they turned the 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 weapons at him while he was on the boat oh, and they yeah, shot him yeah. a couple times and then he fell in the water and he was like did they get him oh, and then next yeah. thing you know you saw that yeah. blue blue, uh, yeah. a blue light <laughs> up. i was like oh no and he shot Damn. that ship fam bro, and that mug like a like a nuclear bro, they, uh, bomb they, went on they literally disintegrated bro it was it was nothing they could do and that's when i knew Cause the 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 little animation for his spikes popping out as he charges up, I thought that was a real cool touch. No, that was, it was over. It was over, bro. I was like, oh, these niggas is in trouble. So, at this point, now it's 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 really obviously <laughs> the government's not trying to let people know. Shikishima wakes up like, yo, we got to let niggas know. Obviously, that would be the smart thing to do, but they're not trying to let nobody know. cause no panic attack or anything. Yeah, even though at the end of the day, the panic's gonna come. Yeah. So uh, I think we should get to the point where the panic do come when that <laughs> nigga say, "You know what? I Land. Make this my new home. Like I, 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 I kind of like this area. Yeah. So it is, the, it's dry off here, man. I ain't yeah, lit. Once, once the sirens start blaring or whatnot, and at this point. Uh, Shikishima, he, he's you know he's you know he's made some more money. Uh, the his friend uh, Noriko, she ends up getting a job mm -hmm. somewhere else or whatnot. And they have someone else watching uh, uh, the, the child baby, while they're yeah. both at work. Mm -hmm. So things are kind of getting back to normal for them or whatnot. And then all of a sudden, that siren blares through the city. They telling people to evacuate, and this they get straight to the action. They, yeah. We start off with Godzilla just throwing shit. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Yeah, bro. Oh, he, he, bro. He launched the boat, bro. I'm talking about that <laughs> mug flew like he was fucking Aaron Rodgers, bro. Like He just yeah. launched that hoe. And I was just like, damn. Like, and it just from that point on, yeah, it was just you know, my favorite part, the Godzilla moment. You know what I'm saying? Of course, bro. Um, or the people that was commentating it, the news people that was – that was the funniest part, bro. On top of a building while he's destroying other buildings. I'm like, hey, bro, they, I'm pretty sure there could have been a better way to let the world know. They, that's basically like the newscasters that be out yeah, there. in the storm. the hurricanes. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. They they had these niggas out here on the top of a The roof homie on the roof. Godzilla. And Godzilla is literally walking by on next to they building. They just reporting and shit. Like, yeah, no, 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 He's just walking by <laughs> slow, almost like he like, yeah, get my good side. Get my good angle. And then he just walked by and he whipped the bottom of the building, just hit it a little bit. And the mug fell in half and that was their demise. <laughs> that yep. was their last televised or whatever it was, uh, live report. Cause yeah. it was GG's from that point. But, um, um old girl was at, at work at the time. And I, I did. Well, she was heading to work. But, yeah, she was hitting the Yeah, she was on the, the uh she was on the train. I felt like it was weird that that was the only train. It was like yeah, of all that, the things he could have yeah, got, it was the one that yeah. she was on. Of all the trains that and all the items up. and things just Yeah, 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 that was that was, was like, that okay. was the kind of a, uh, you know, you know how they set that. It was movie. Up. It was movie related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was movie <laughs> movie logic right there. I didn't like, I didn't uh, I didn't like his walk. Like I felt like they kind of yeah, yeah, That's yeah, where yeah. the the old school 
yeah, 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 animation yeah. of Godzilla mm-hmm. kind of came into play because mm-hmm. it looked like he was bottom heavy. No homo. Mm-hmm. He had like <laughs> <laughs> his arms were like this and his legs was, you yeah, know, I was just yeah. like, ah, like, come on, man. Like, you know, I, I get why they did that. That's more of a stylistic choice. Um, for I, the, I did. Know. Yeah, I, I, I understand it. why they did that, though. Um, it was crazy. She even she out of it. I think everybody else on the train died. But she lived somehow. She was able to she jump in the water. The water, yeah. And then somehow, <laughs> miraculously, in this huge city, she ends up running from Godzilla. And at one point, she just gives up. She was walking. She was. Walk- she didn't care she no more. Walking. I think she, she wanted to die. Care. Yeah, I think she had reached that point, and then she, she could see me picked her out of all those oh, damn. Yeah. Now you know. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Out of all the people that be over there. Yeah, nah. The odds of you just running straight into somebody like that right before Godzilla just finna pack them up. Yeah, it, it was a movie. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, yeah. Just, I, was yeah. Like, I, I was like, okay, that the the convenience there. I was like, all right then. But they all running or whatnot. Godzilla said, you know what, bro? I'm sick of all these buildings. I'm, <laughs> I'm sick of all y'all. Really, let me ho- let me let me show you why this is my place. The niggas start charging up the blast. Niggas just sitting there looking. They hit the slow mo. Cause it looked live. Oh, <laughs> one nigga. Bro, by the time it got to the middle, that's when people started to run. I'm like, nigga, I would have ran. I would have been running. Why did yeah. you stop running? Was the question. I'm like, fam. <laughs> and and this is where the stupid comes into play. In every movie, you gotta have a piece of stupid. And I get it. Of you course. gotta <laughs> gotta have a little dumb mixed in with the movie. Niggas was running and then stopped running to yeah. look at them. And this yep. nigga like, oh, okay. Start charging up. The tail start. And they somebody was just like, nah, fam. I think something finna happen. <laughs> and then they start running. But by then, it was over. Like It was too late, bro. It once was too late he, once you stopped running, fam. Once he hit that atomic blast in that city, and you see the explosion, and then the shockwave. The, the and reaction. Shikima and Noriko, they were by these two buildings. And right before the blast wave hit them, she pushes him between the buildings between the buildings but dub was like wait a minute y'all both could have jumped between the buildings and been okay but she said you know what you got this my boy (laughs) and then she got swept away and it shocked me because i was like oh shit they killed the main character character i actually care about and this was potentially supposedly to be that love interest because his friends was telling him like bro like you know what I'm saying? They thought she was married I, to him, man. Yeah, like, bro, this is one of those things where everything was given to you. You gotta, I, I get it, the child is not yours, and I get it, you know, you didn't expect to, you know, be in anything romantic with her, but she care about you. And child over here calling you daddy, and you don't wanna, I'm not your daddy. Like, mm-hmm. all the, you've been given a family, you've been given a life, so you appreciate that. And he never really, at he didn't want to be attached. Movie, he, at that point in the movie, he, he didn't want to be attached, and he never got to say that. So that one kind of shocked me at that point because I was like, "Oh damn, they killed off a, a main character. He didn't even get to say like, I really appreciate you. I, I care about you. I love you." I was like, "Ah, oh, damn." I think the and hardest part was when the girl was like, "Where's mommy?" Yeah, that that oh, that wow, shit. That's tough. That man. shit was tough, bro. And his acting after, bro, the city just got up. Op- it was literally another nuke. Mm-hmm. They had just built up the city, and it got nuked again. Yep. And once Godzilla did that, he did his little roar like, yeah, nigga, yeah, y'all saw that <laughs> shit. I packed all of you niggas up. I'm going back to the ocean. This is my new Man, piece of territory. This is my motherfucking shit. I'll see you niggas 10 days from now, my nigga. You better make sure you have all the fish for me. <laughs> Like, this, nigga, this nigga Godzilla, bro. And bro, I didn't just, wonder, though. Bro, bro. I was like, bro, why she push you? Why you ain't... He ain't try to push her. She ain't try to go inside the building with him. And the other dumb thing, Godzilla was chasing him in a straight path. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why nobody zigzagging? Like, clearly this nigga not going left or right. He just following y'all straight. And y'all running straight. Like, bro, of course you're going to get blasted to smithereens in the same direction he's walking. Yep. I'm like, come on, fam. But yeah, she got pulled into the uh the gulags. <coughs> and um yep, 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 they kinda yep. they kinda go from there. So now they have to come up with this big plan of like, mm-hmm. okay, 
we got to take our Godzilla on our own because yeah. ain't nobody yeah, else going to help us. The government yeah. ain't finna do it. You know, yeah. we it's pretty much uh, on us. The U.S. ain't about to do shit. Like, all right, well, good. Hey, good luck, y'all niggas. <laughs> That's literally what it is. So it's usually it, it was uh like veterans or whatnot. Yeah. Oh, uh, it right. was a private private company and veterans basically coming together to try to figure it out. We got to do something because if we don't, this nigga gonna come back and kill us all anyway. Yeah. So they came uh, up with a cool little plan though to yeah. um, to drown them. Um, yeah, to basically to uh, you know because of the water's deep pressure mm-hmm. or whatnot, and then I think they had something. Some type of was it like CO two or something like that? I, I forgot what it was actually that they would have wrapped around him yeah. and would explode at that deep pressure, causing him to potentially freeze. And then their backup plan was if that didn't kill him because of the deep pressure, then they would rise him back up, and that would potentially kill him because of the the uh the uh, you know how you quick know, his body is um changing. Being, yeah, you know, rising From at that the, higher the decompression. Depth. Yes, the decompression. Yeah. So. But it was uh, it was Freon tanks that they had wrapped. Okay, around okay, them. okay, okay, okay. Freon okay. tanks that they wrapped around them, so that way they can uh, drown them at over fifteen hundred meters. They was trying to get rid of them, and it's like yeah. once they got them down there, because they did uh, complete the task of getting them down there before they did all that. Uh, of course, Shikishima met up with the yeah, old he, pilot. He was trying to get the pilot again because they only mm-hmm. found one fighter jet left. Mm-hmm. To fly because all the other ones had been destroyed because you know everybody mm-hmm. else GG themselves so yeah. um they, yeah. they only had one left that was of course a jet before his time uh mm-hmm. but they needed somebody to finish fixing it and of course who you get to fix it the same mechanic that blamed me for not killing Godzilla basically killing himself and everybody mm-hmm. else got obliterated he mm-hmm. had to find him some way and the only way he was able to get that pol- that uh mechanic's attention was to try to blame. Everything yeah. that happened on him, <laughs> and that boy found uh, Shikishima bro, and bro. yacked him in his neck. And then nigga woke up tied up. Yeah, bro, and it, and it worked because obviously he knew that's the only way he was gonna get his attention to come mm-hmm. to you know pretty much aid him. And he and the reason at this point he had reached this moment where he's like, bro, this monster is taking everything from me. Yep. I've been running. I've been. I haven't been able to find a way to rectify what I did in the past. Mm -hmm. I have all this guilt. Someone that I potentially could have, you know, really built a family with is gone. So I didn't take the opportunity. Screw it. This time I'm going to finish the mission. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not, I'm not trying to come back home. I'm going to make sure Godzilla is done. And that's really the only reason why uh, at that time that the lead mechanic wanted to even help. Cause he's like, you know what? All right, cool. You ready? You ready now? So, at this, they're um, they pretty much getting the plane together. They end up um, the mechanic end up fixing the plane, but he ends up he ends up thinking about something. And I, and I like what they did here. It wasn't just for him to you know go out there and kill himself. Because like Ross started, said, he before you get to that part, not to cut you off. Because like Ross was yeah. saying, um, homie was done, so mm-hmm. he knew there was only one way to do this. He was ready to end it all, and the only way to do that is to sacrifice himself um, uh-huh. with the the armory and the weapons that the plane had, uh, mm-hmm. so that way he could save everybody else, save the little girl. He was thinking about her future, yeah, um, and and everything like that. So that's why I was saying I love how they built the story with this because you've seen him uh-huh. being so fearful in the beginning, kind of feeling like he cheated death. He was so yeah. uh, waking up in cold sweats, having nightmares. He was really second guessing if he was really alive. Um, yeah, he was. At points, because he really thought that he was actually dead previously because of him still surviving and having so much guilt um, that he, he felt like he couldn't finish his war. His war wasn't over. And that's the mm-hmm. same thing he told uh, Noriko before she had got sent to the Gulag. So um, yeah. they, they set that up perfectly to the point to where when she um, had got taken by the uh, impact of Godzilla's blast, he was off. He, he yeah. That was the last final straw. You know, mm-hmm. they, you know, he, he probably was second guessing, not committing to her and, you know, probably marrying her because he pretty much had the family he didn't realize he needed. Yeah. And right. wanted, you know, mm-hmm. so he took advantage of that, worrying about the war so much that it took him away from the reality of what was actually in front of him. And when he did, because at one point he was just like, after that nightmare, he was just like, uh, I'm going to actually take another uh, chance at life and I'm going to actually try to live again. Yeah. And then after, right after that, that's when the whole situation with Noriko happened. Yeah. He mm-hmm. didn't get to tell her what he wanted to tell her. And then at this point, he was off. 
So yep. So and then the pilot. Once he uh, got to that point, you know he you know, um, Sookie Seaman comes over there. He checks out everything. You know he lets them know what he's you know what he's at and stuff like that. And then he there's a lever that he's supposed to pull right before he's supposed to pretty much launch himself into the mouth of Godzilla. Mm-hmm. And then they cut the scene after that because it, it's pretty much uh, he's stupid. <laughs> but it's pretty much um like insinuating like he knows. This is, you know, this is how he wants to go out. Because their their planes, uh, the kamikaze planes and stuff, weren't uh, created with um, uh, ejector uh, ejection yeah. seats. Mm-hmm. So when you ejector seat, cause it, yeah. it didn't have that. Like <laughs> when you go down, you go down. Yeah, so the so... the goal is not to live yeah, come and come back. It's actually to we need you to run into that. Go do that. Yeah. Yeah. So and that, and his. You could tell his demeanor has changed. He was ready. He, he was like, "This is it." You know, he had a picture of uh, Noriko on his uh, uh in the co- uh, cockpit, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yep, you know what? This is this is what I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for for the little one." Akika. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, you know, I gotta make sure that uh, we we end this with Godzilla, so y'all can, so she can have a future, and everyone else can have a future. And be safe. And for him to feel like. Writing his wrongs with people that have died, you know, because of the original meeting with Godzilla. So they they start working on the plan or whatever. Godzilla uh, sees him, you know, he gets the plane to distract him. It's working or whatnot. They get back into the water. Everybody's on the ships. They got this plan. They even got a ship makeshift on autopilot yeah. or whatever to kind of distract Godzilla or whatnot. And he charge up his atomic breath. No one's on that ship. Everything's working. They get to wrap them around or mm-hmm. whatnot. And With then the Freon they, tanks and, and yeah, drown they, them. Yeah, they set it off. He ends up falling down to the, the, the deep part of the trench where they were at. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't fully dead. Like, he was charging up, too. He was charging up another atomic blast. And once he got down there, it stopped. Everything stopped. He started like he to freeze up. Yeah, <laughs> he started to freeze up. But he wasn't dead still. So... Now it's like, all right, well, we're going to activate plan B. So they end up Because he tugged on that bad boy, and they was like, yeah. fuck, this nigga's still alive. Nah, God, yeah. Damn he, it. You know, they, so then he ends up rising back up, but then he gets stuck at, like, I want, it was like at certain uh, certain depth he was stuck. Yeah, it was so like at like seven, eight hundred uh, meters yeah. they got stuck, but they was trying to kill him through the explosive decompression. So, mm-hmm. you know, if your and body is, it. if your body is so deep in the ocean and you come up real fast, you out of there. It's GG's because your body has yep. to slowly rise, rise at different yep. meters and in order for your body to get adjusted. Up, <laughs> fucking, you end up dying. So that was their plan, but it, he ended up getting stuck. So I was like, oh mm-hmm. man, what are we going to do? We, you know, we can't pull him. That's when uh, a whole bunch of tugboats came out there. People started tugging the, the larger ships to mm-hmm. be able to pull them up to the surface or whatnot. Once they was able to get them up to the surface, it looked like the job had been done. <laughs> yeah. But uh, unfortunately, I think he was in, at that depth for too long, and he was able to start moving around. Mm-hmm. And once he realized what the hell was going on and he got free, He's like, oh, you niggas, oh, oh, okay, oh, you didn't learn. Yep. Stay less. <clears throat> Nigga charged up that beam one more time, and once again, like I said, they they framed it up so good, they made oh, you yeah. really afraid of Godzilla, because anytime that beam got charged up, niggas got turned into Thanos dust. Yeah, so they did, bro. at this point. All your favorite characters that's on these damn boats, tugboats, <laughs> all these niggas is about to get packed up. Everybody taking off their hats. Yeah, that's niggas a slow mo going, moment. Oh, oh no! They like, looking it, at the blast about to come like. Yeah, I'm like, bro, it's over. And then the homie Shikishima comes in, and he's With that focused. little jet just no, the whole time. He's just focused. Whatever he lines it up. He he's about to go ahead because they have like a, I think they have like some type of bomb in the plane as well. Mm-hmm. So he's lining up the shot while it's charging, and obviously when Godzilla is charging up his blast, he has to open his mouth yeah. or whatever. So right before he's about to hit, because they know he's more vulnerable mm-hmm. on the inside than on the outside. Mm-hmm. Right before he's about to hit um, uh, Godzilla, they cut to a part where. Um, uh, the lead mechanics telling them, "Hey, mm-hmm. it, pull this lever. Pull this lever when you're about to hit 
Godzilla, but also T pull Tachi this. Tachibana. That's his name. Yeah, pull, pull this lever right here so you can eject from it. And he was like, wait, what? He's like, nah, I want you to live. You know what I'm saying? They didn't purposely show that scene. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I, I like that. So right before he's about to hit, no one else knows that it's been formatted. They think he's sacrificing himself. It, it, himself. it looks like a straight sacrifice that my homie is just, you know, gunning it straight for Godzilla in his mouth. Yep. Mouth is open. And the next thing you know, of course, they do the cut scene. It hits me because I'm like, bro, this is good directing. This is yeah, good Yeah, bro, that was good. Because it Very took good. us away from us thinking that Chachi Bana, which is the mechanic, mm -hmm. wanting him to die because of what happened in early mm -hmm. on and losing everybody else. But he actually wanted him to live. He seen mm -hmm. how much remorse he had for, for losing. And I think what he caught, too, when he was in that jet and he seen uh, Shikishima uh, mm -hmm. sitting in a jet, like, trying it out, and what he was showing them all the parts, he took his book out. And remember the guy, yeah. the mechanic had gave him the pictures of all the guys that had passed away. They all mm -hmm. had pictures of their families and the stuff that they wanted to go back home to. Mm -hmm. So the fact that Shikishima still had that the, mm -hmm. that book of pictures, he, mm -hmm. it hit him. He looked at him like, man, you still held on to that. And he mm -hmm. added into that case the drawing that the little girl had made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's when he was like, okay, yeah, you don't need to go out there and yeah. sacrifice, your, sacrifice yourself for, you know, for this situation there was a I, it, it, I was just like no nah, no nah, this was really good so once that once he hits you don't see him eject but you see the plane hit godzilla straight in the and mouth. then it's an explosion and then that nigga just falls apart like everything yeah, crumbles he, just ends up, he ends up crumbling and that's right how the, the cookie ocean. crumbles <laughs> he's stupid he ends up crumbling into the ocean everyone's like oh my god he well he actually did it but he, you know people you know the people that were close to him they were like hey, no i can't believe he did it and then you look up and you see a pair of shoes he's like wait i see him yeah i see him that. i was like oh that was that was that was a good one and everyone's changed yeah and the pilot yeah. and and the mechanic has the headphones listening mm -hmm. to hear them say the shoot was a success, or or uh, he he ejected yeah. successfully. He ejected, yeah, and yeah, once yeah, he yeah. heard that, he yeah, took the yeah, headphones yeah. off and he did the little, <laughs> you know, that so young, like how it was, it was. It was really good. And before we, they part. We, there was one part where um, uh, the one of their um, I, I I don't know if you could say like I guess you could say like a friend or acquaintance um, that was taking care of their um, oh yeah the lady from the beginning who blamed them yeah. Yeah, that was taking care of uh, their child pretty much. Pretty much he's their child. Um, she ended up getting a letter. And yeah, we don't know what the letter is. Yeah, like a telegram. So she ends up getting it. And, and she got it like, right before uh, he went to go do his final mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he had gave her some money. He said, look after her, take care of her. And then that's when she got the telegram. And they don't tell so, us what's on the telegram, but she reacts. Like, yeah, oh, my God, yeah. he probably should be reading this before he go do what yeah, I'm so, assuming he's about to do. And I kind of figured where they were going. Once they did that, I was like, oh, okay. I just wanted to see if they were going to play it out. And once he gets off the boat, everyone's, you know, congratulating him. It's a good time. He gets the telegram from her and like, yo, read this. He reads it. He looks all shocked. He's like, we, <gasps> cut, we cut to him. Running into with, a uh, hospital. With, with, uh, with the Akika. Little, with his little girl. I think it's a Kiko, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, okay, okay. He's <laughs> like, whatever. Uh, nah, it's not whatever. <laughs> but we get to that part. He goes in there. He opens up the hospital door, and you see her all bandaged up, bruised up. And she, she basically said, uh, what she said, is your war over? And that was a good one. That was, was a like, good one. Now, and that's when homie that was next to us start crying yeah. because he was, bro. His no, nah, she had to. She had the patch over the eye. Yeah. She had the arm looking like this. And when he walked in, she was like, "Is your war? Is over? your war over?" And no. bro, he, bro, this he nigga, like, bro, his acting this, was on point. No, nah, it was, bro. He, the tears, the emotion, the mannerisms, like, the, this, the, the way he over. was moving. I was like, ah, oh, homie next to us start. <laughs> Oh, because when Wait, he when he walked up to it, I was like, "Nah, that ain't her." I was like, "Oh man!" I was like, "That was." And he got was, the he was... got the little girl in his hand. Mm -hmm. He's running, you know, walking him to her bedside, mm -hmm. putting the little girl down. And it, now it's like the family. You could tell, like, yeah. he was going to cherish and embrace. 
yeah, uh, what he yeah. had right in front of him this time. And he finally got a he finally got a break after just so much horrible shit yes. happening to this nigga. He finally got a break. That was a dope. Even though you can say it's cliche, that shit was just a good feel, bro. Yeah, it was. That, that shit was a, a real good feel. What? I thought him. she was gone. So I yeah, I thought. I, I thought I that was his parents, to be honest with you. I thought it was like it was a relative that yeah. telegrammed him. Because yeah, 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 from yeah. that blast, I thought, oh, yeah, she yeah, did. Yeah. Well, it, realistically, she definitely should have died from that blast. Like, you get hit with one of those type of blasts, that, that t- the speed of that, bro, it's over. But It's almost like a tornado. Street, you standing next of, to one. Yeah, sake of the storytelling, he finally caught a good break. He, he was finally, you know, he was able to lift that burden that he had on his – on his heart, on his chest for all these years, and you know, what I'm saying his war is finally over. It's not talking about the actual war, but the war he's been dealing with In his head. inside of himself mm-hmm. is finally over. He was that's really a good, hero now, they, bro. That's some good ass writing. And even at the end, they show you know bits of Godzilla sinking, but then it starts reforming just a bit. Like, like a, oh. I think a, uh, I think a heart started to beat. Yeah, or something, and it starts to like regenerate yeah, again slowly. To re- re- regenerate, so I'm like, I don't know. Maybe they'll do some type of potential sequel. If not, this was good, just a standalone. Oh movie yeah, for sure. By itself, this was fantastic, man. I rec- we both recommend Definitely. y'all go see this, bro, because this one right here, I, I appreciate um, um, just good characters people you actually give a damn about because mm-hmm. most Godzilla movies, I'm like, bro, just kill, get these niggas off my screen. Get, get them killed. Yeah, get yeah, them. no, because they be doing just dumb stuff. But like, this one, stuff, this, but. this one was, it, ah, bro, like I said, I've never seen anyone cry in the Godzilla movie. A man at that, so that should let you know. Yeah, grown how, man, sitting uh, right next to Ross. <laughs> how, how good this was, man. It was definitely worth it, man. Yeah, no, they they sold it, and again, love the movie, love the, love just the acting in general, because a lot of times, if you don't like certain pieces visually, man, the acting, the acting can captivate you. Um, mm-hmm. The story, and just like how they answered everything that you wanted to be answered from the beginning, mm-hmm. him going all through all the turmoil, uh, heavily in fear to overcoming it, thinking that he lost everything that was actually there in the first time that he didn't appreciate. And shout out to the baby actor, uh, her Akika, yeah. like. She was actually speaking on time, on cue. I'm looking mm-hmm. at that like, man, that's loud to have a baby that's actually just speaking and saying their lines when they're supposed to. She started mm-hmm. crying on cue. Um, mm-hmm. it, it was pretty cool to see that, too. So shout out to the baby because I know that was probably tough. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, that's that's loud, too, to see that. But I will say this is definitely clutch. Um, <laughs> this is a, a, a clutch movie. Um, yeah, I would definitely sure. recommend it. I did give it four out of five stars and uh mm-hmm. shout out to the the writer and the director because mm-hmm. he wrote it and he directed it uh takashi oh, no, yamazaki okay. Um, okay and it was produced by toho studios and uh robot communication and it was distributed by toho um it was the 37 film in the godzilla franchise so i just wanted to you know give him his credit for that because uh movies and films like it, it's really hard to captivate people on a movie especially a movie that's been done a bunch of times to mm-hmm. still be able to kind of give your spin on it, even though if it's a more like a you know you pull from an older story, but to to make a movie like that in today's time and still get four out of five to me, I think that's doing something. So if they do do a part two, Shikishima been through enough. I think he needs to <laughs> homie needs to move out of Tokyo, man. He needs to go somewhere, you know, way <laughs> some ways away. Get you a damn yep. bunker. Um and you know what I'm saying <laughs> just 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 go relax and retire. Nah, that nigga got this, hey bro. I, nah, I remember that nigga. Yeah, he gonna run his <laughs> he gonna run his fade back, bro. He gonna come back. He ain't gonna do nothing but find him. <laughs> like where that nigga at? He running his fade, bro. Where that nigga at? Hold on, bro. This nigga blew me up. He got bro. his scent too and his taste and his smell because the plane. You know what I'm saying? He. Shikishima was in the plane. The plane went in the guys of the mouth. Guys of the smelt and probably tasted a little bit of him, and he's coming for him. So. <laughs> Homie needs to get straight out of Tokyo the first chance he get. Cause <laughs> I, I wouldn't imagine it takes a long time for Godzilla to kind of reform and get back to his normal oh, self. Man. Some of y'all said y'all cried too. Director yeah, director of the film. What movie what movie made y'all really cry? Um Toho made uh all of the OG Godzilla film. Oh, that's dope. That's Brooke dope. Backstory on One Piece anime had me crying. 
this movie had me going through it. Um, well, I'm definitely seeing it Saturday. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, lot, spoilers be cool, but it's like a lot of times you still got to visually see it for yourself. I mean, we really was trying to go through the movie from the beginning to end. We missed out, of course, many pieces, many yeah. detailed pieces. Yeah, that's gonna, course. you know, and you just got to see it theatrically. It was just ah, chef's kiss. But um, well, let's go ahead and end this for for the YouTube uh, version of this man. Hey, once again, y'all, we appreciate y'all. We're going to be doing some more movie reviews. I I think we should definitely do some more show reviews. I know the mm-hmm. boys is coming up, uh, season four of that. Y'all down for uh, that? Yeah, if y'all want us to do some uh, some episodic show reviews, because, man, I, I really wish we would have uh, probably did it for Loki, because Loki was fantastic. I love that show. Mm-hmm. They, they did a great job. But, you know, we can definitely check out some episodic shows and give our review on each episode as well and y'all join in with us on the conversation more movie reviews are on the way and uh yeah man once again we appreciate y'all this was a clutch movie definitely go uh check it out if you get a chance to i gave it four and a half stars dub gave it four out of five stars man and uh yeah this was a great one so we will catch y'all next time on the next in the clutch reviews man. and you know when we doing like this that means we bit we don't beat <laughs> peace out y'all <laughs> busy from houston if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion i made this shit happen i'm living life lucid i'm switching my strategies now they hate on me because i'm causing casualties but why are they after me deep inside they know they can't handle half of me